Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. It is already that time again. Time to talk some trash. And when I mean talk trash, I mean talk empties products. So a lot of y'all were asking me last time, Nicole, what the heck is this, talking trash empties? This, guys, is a series I've done since the very beginning of my channel where I go through products from start to finish and I let you know if I like them or if I would never purchase them again. So I give you an honest opinion. I like to be truthful and I always am here on the channel so y'all don't waste your money. So if you wanna see what we went through for two months, stick around for this video. All right, y'all, so I always start my empties with the smelly good stuff, so I'm going to start off with some candles. And the candles that I loved most out of what I see here is this White Barn Bath & Body Works Lemon Mint Leaf. OMG, guys, this scent is amazing from Bath & Body Works. I have a backup of this, and I don't even want to use it because it smells so stinking good. I have a wallflower I haven't used yet either. I love it. It is sparkling lemon zest, spearmint leaves, and verbena sprigs. The throw on this is to die for. It is so, so strong, and I like a strong throwing candle. If you're not a fan of a strong throwing candle, don't purchase this. But if you do and you love lemon and you love mint because the mint note is very prominent in this candle, you're gonna love this. All right, so here was the burn. Here was a pretty clean burn. I love the mint color of the actual candle itself. Oh my God, it just smells so good. I could like live in this stuff. So if you can still find this, I think you can definitely pick it up. I highly recommend. Next candle from Bath & Body Works that I went through was the Summertime Soda Pop. Everybody was going the rage with these. I still have the banana milkshake I haven't went through yet. I'm scared to burn them because I love the packaging and I have such high hopes for them. I don't want them to disappoint me. This one didn't disappoint. I actually liked it. It just smelled straight up like 7-Up and it had that kind of like sparkling soda scent. Crisp lime, zesty lemon splash of soda. So it was very lemon limey. If you're not a fan of that, then you're not gonna like this candle. The burn on it, I had some sooting at the top. I try not to trim the wicks on the Bath & Body Works candles if I can help it. That way they're more of a clean burn. It did start to um, you know, tunnel out there on that one, but that's okay. But overall, I really enjoyed it. I know some people did not like this one, but I liked it. Next one was a recommendation from my girl, Gina Schweppe. She's obsessed with this scent. And this is the Pineapple Sunrise. The packaging on it was adorable. And the notes on it are Juicy Island Pineapple, Crisp Persian Lime, Warm Coconut Musk. And I have this in a wallflower. I love the wallflower. I actually really love the candle too. I have a backup of this as well. It is not as strong as the mint lemon uh, leaf or whatever it was I was just telling you about. It's not as strong, but it is pretty darn good. So I highly recommend this one too. She was spot on that it had a decent throw because some of our candles from Bath & Body Works haven't been good throwing um, here as of late. The ones we got from Candle Day anyway. These are the ones we got from Candle Day. They seem to be a little bit better. So I recommend this one. I have backups of it. I can't wait to use it. The next candle from Bath & Body Works is the Peach Bellini. I got this as a birthday present. Um, the packaging on this was spot on beautiful. I mean, look at the packaging on it. The black lid was such a nice touch. And the notes on it are succulent white peach, sparkling Prosecco, sweet orange with essential oils. This one smells really good. It was not super strong on a throw, but on cold sniff, it smells like delicious. It wasn't bad, but it wasn't as good as the other candles I showed you. And I love the peach scents from like Georgia peach and stuff from Bath and Body Works, but it just wasn't that great of a throw. Last candle I have for you guys was a major letdown. This is the Mrs. Myers Clean Day Honeysuckle scent. So my girl Gina Schweppe actually sent this to me and I'm sorry that she did because I know these candles are so stinking pricey and I'm not a big fan of this honeysuckle scent first off. So I might be biased <laughs> with this burn of this candle, but I did not smell this at all in the house. I didn't smell it at all. Now, some of the other scents might be better. Maybe the lavender because that's my all-time favorite scent from Mrs. Meyer. So I might try that one. But I mean, you can smell it straight up. It smells just like the room spray that I have in the honeysuckle, but no throw at all. It did have a lot of wax rings, as you can see there. Um, I remember it wasn't that great of a burn either, but ugh, it's a soy candle, but it was a no-go, major letdown. Sorry, Gina. Then I've got one wallflower, and you might be thinking if you didn't watch my last empties, what the heck are you doing with wallflowers? Because you say you never buy those, you only buy Airwick, and you are true if you've been paying attention. However, I did buy some of the wallflowers from the semi-annual sale, and this is the Pineapple Sunrise. Like I said, I went through this one. This was 
the one just like the candle. This one was actually pretty good. Was it super strong like my air wicks? No, it wasn't, but this is way better than one that I'm burning right now or have in the back room. Guys, it's non-existent smell, the other wallflower, the Mermaid Lagoon one. Oh my God, I had so high hopes for that and I can't smell it at all. Like what a waste. So many people rave about these and I don't know why because if you were to try the air wick, you're gonna be blown away versus these Bath and Body Works ones. I'm telling you right now, I don't lie to y'all. And those new Airwick ones with the essential oils are the bomb. Sticking on the Bath and Body Works theme, I got a Coconut Lime Breeze, the Coconut Lime Verbena. Now that's old school Bath and Body Works. This is the next thing and this only comes out for like the semi-annual sales or you can buy it online. My all-time favorite scent for the summer versus watermelon lemonade. That's another one of my favorites, but I love, a love a lime scent and I like douse myself with this stuff. Y'all always ask how I go through it so quickly. Guys, when I get out the shower, it's from head to toe, like spraying. It's like fog up in there with Bath and Body Works spray because it lingers on your body throughout the night. I can smell it the next morning when I wake up and I just enjoy using a lot of it. If you just spray a little bit, you're not going to get that scent and that's why a lot of people don't like it. But if you really go overboard, you can smell it. And if you get these super cheap, you can do that. I got a hand soap. This is the Pop Top Watermelon Lemonade Deep Cleansing Hand Soap and the notes on it are the same as any watermelon lemonade. It's going to be Juicy Watermelon and Meyer Lemon. So I love this stuff. I put this, I think this was in the kitchen and I just love Watermelon Lemonade. It's one of my favorite scents from Bath and Body Works. I have like a top five. This is definitely in the top five for sure. And I like the deep cleansing soap for the kitchen. It just makes me feel like I'm getting extra clean up in there. A hand soap that was a disappointment is this Bolero Liquid Hand Soap. And this is the Lemon Verbena and Mint. My girl Kiara from Fifty Shades of Mom sent this to me. And the Bolero products are hit or miss. There's some things that are really good with Bolero from Dollar Tree. And there's some things that I am just not a fan of. And I'm not a fan of this hand soap at all. It didn't lather well. I just... It was kind of runny. I just did not like it at all. The scent on this was very artificial to me. I could not stand it. And y'all know I love lemon and lime, so very disappointed in this hand. All right, guys, so I'm going to get into some hair care products next. So some favorites of mine, if you've watched my empties or my couponing videos, y'all know this is my jam. And this is the L'Oreal Blow Dry It products. OMG, these are life for me. This is a thermal smoother cream. It tames frizz and heat protection. And this is the quick dry primer spray cuts time and drying heat protection so many words but when I get out the shower and my hair is wet after I brush it I get like a little bit over a quarter size of this and I just comb it through with my fingers make sure to get the ends and even do the top and I go to bed with my hair wet and when I wake up the next morning it's still damp I spray this bad boy all over my hair I blow dry and then it's got the heat protectant in there for when I straighten my hair and this stuff works wonders in this 100% humidity where I live in southern Louisiana I'm telling y'all I can definitely attest for products with humidity and this stuff is amazing okay guys it's gonna look like I got dry shampoo wasted because dry shampoo has been my friend this summer especially with doing like these messy buns and stuff it's just been so nice to try and to treat my hair um, and give it a little break and not you know over process it with coloring it and washing it and blow drying and straighten it so I've been doing it where I only wash my hair like once or twice a week and go in between with dry hairspray so I got a bunch here to show you so the first one I've had forever guys this is from the beginning of my channel I did like an Ulta haul and this is from that haul it's ridiculous this is a not your mother's clean freak refreshing dry shampoo and it says it absorbs excess oils leaving no residue fresh volume I can attest that it did not leave a white cast however there's like no smell, which I like a smell with a dry shampoo, especially if your hair is like funky, you haven't been washing it, you want something to refresh it and make it smell good. Non-existent there. Um, it did work okay, but this was not my favorite and I felt like this took forever to freaking go through. So I will not repurchase this, unfortunately, because some people love this. I know some people hate it. I was not a fan of it, so I'm gonna pass on that one. Next one is a tried and true. This is my, oh, I'm throwing it around. This is my Batiste dry shampoo and this is in the tropical coconut and exotic scent. This is my absolute favorite. If I had to pick one out of all of them, it would be the tropical scent. It smells so good. However, guys, I'm gonna be honest with y'all, Batiste leaves a hella white cast, like bad, bad, bad. So if you have dark hair like me and you don't wanna work it in, or even if you have black hair, this is not gonna be for you. However, the smell is the bomb and it definitely refreshes your hair. It works, it makes your hair feel clean. It gives you that texture and volume that you want. So I'm a big fan of Batiste, even though it leaves a hella white cast. <laughs> I will be honest with y'all. However, I think this might be my new fave 
favorite. And so many of y'all have said that you really like this one. And this is the Dove Refresh Plus Care Volume and Fullness Dry Shampoo. I loved this stuff, guys. This is my new jam. Now, this is great for doing messy buns if you're not washing your hair throughout the week because it definitely gives you that volume and texture like it says on the package. I can attest for that. This stuff is great. It smells good. It has a little bit of a white cast, not as bad as the Batiste, but I think I'm going to buy this in a full size because I really, really enjoyed this bad boy. All right, I got some hairsprays and I've got two of the trial size of the Rave hairsprays. I got these free from couponing way back when. I've done a lot of traveling this summer, so I've been trying to go through a little bit of my trial size just to get them out of the pantry where I have them in my stockpile. And I'm gonna be honest with y'all, Rave is the bomb. It is cheap. It works great. It's not the best smelling, but it holds that hair where it needs to be. Last hair product I have is my all-time favorite conditioner. Y'all know this, and it's the Aussie Three Minute Miracle. I need to be in a commercial. I love this stuff. Love you. Deep conditioner. Oh my gosh, it's my jam. And I have a million of these in my stockpile. I do like the Pantene Three Minute Miracle, the like extra moisture one. There's one that I like more than the other. Some of them are great. Some of them are not. But this by far beats it. I love this stuff. I put it on my hair after I shampoo. I let it sit while I'm washing my body. And then I rinse it out and it just makes my hair so smoky, silky smooth. I lied. That's not the last hair care product I have. I always lie to y'all when it comes to hair care. I have a Dove Repairing Ritual Shampoo with coconut oil and turmeric. And this is inspired by women's hair rituals in India. Last time for an empties, I think I did one like from Brazil. They have this exotic collection. And I'm going to be honest with y'all, there isn't a Dove shampoo that I don't like. I love damn Dove shampoo. That is my all-time jam. I am brand loyal to Dove. I love the way it smells. I love the way it makes my hair feel, and I will always repurchase it, and I have a million of them in my stockpile, so went through one of those. I've got some body wash products, and these are for the boys, none for myself. I'm surprised, but I have one that's almost empty right now. This is the Irish Spring 3-in-1 Hair, Body, and Face 24-Hour Body Wash. I really like this stuff, and it was just like this blue color that you see here. I love Irish Spring for the boys. It makes them smell so good. It has like like strong manly scent from a soap that you want and I really like that for the boys. I'm using one right now with like charcoal beads in it and I hate it from Iris Spring. I will never repurchase that one again. I love this one though. And then another one that I think that I liked, it also has charcoal in it but it didn't have the little beads and this is the Axe Deep Clean 2-in-1 with charcoal, deeply cleans dirt and styling residue. Um, this is just the shampoo. This was um, pretty good. It was okay but I wouldn't pay the extra money for this versus the Irish Spring, but y'all know I get this. All right, so I got some random oral care products. We went through a Crest Pro Health mouthwash, the hubby did, and then I went through a Colgate Total Clean in between. Get this free for couponing, love it. Hubby went through a Crest Scope, he loves that. And then the boys went through a Crest Fruit Burst, and this is the Incredibles too. They actually hated the flavor of this, so I actually have a Peppa Pig one right now, Bubblegum, they're really enjoying that one. Then I've got two deodorants. The hubby is obsessed with Old Spice, and so many of y'all's hubbies are as well. When we've talked about this in past empties before, he is brand loyal to Old Spice and nothing else. And this is just the classic Old Spice original scent. He loves this stuff. And then I'm starting to get brand loyal to Mitchum, and this is the Pure Fresh 48 Hour Advanced Control win. However, guys, it did fall out at the end, like the little thing started to fall out and get all over the place, and it gets kind of messy sometimes with these, but I've really been enjoying the Mitchum lately. I've got a Vitafusion Multivites. Y'all know I love these things, Complete Vitamins. I haven't bought any, and I haven't had any in like a month. I need to get on it. Note to self. Okay guys, getting into some makeup and some skincare products. So the good stuff, a lot of y'all like this stuff too. So let's get into some makeup products first. So the first thing I went through was a NYX matte finish. This is a setting spray guys. A lot of y'all have been asking me about setting sprays and asking me when you use this. So after you apply all your makeup, this is your last step. You just spray a bunch of this on and it's supposed to keep your makeup in place throughout the day, especially if you're fighting high humidity and the matte is what you want if you have a high humidity area. And this NYX was pretty good. However, I'm using the Wet n Wild, which is way cheaper and it works better in my opinion. So I'm not gonna repurchase the NYX even though I enjoyed it because the Wet n Wild just blows it out the water. All right, so these next two products are all-time repurchases. I will repurchase this over and over again. I get so many comments on my videos on what type of mascara I use. So I'm wishing everybody watched my empties because I have mentioned this many times before. And this is the Balm Cosmetics, the Mad Lash Mascara, guys. This stuff is life. I will use nothing else for a mascara versus this. This stuff is amazing. So you can get this on 
line. That's where I purchase it for, I think it's $10 a piece. You can get it on sale. If not, it's regular price, $18 a tube. However, I will pay the $18 because this stuff just elongates my eyelashes like nobody's business. I love this. And I do apply two coats, but you don't even need to. The first coat is like va -voom. I'm telling you, this stuff is amazing. Definitely wait around Christmas because you can get two for $10 a piece. And I'm going to stock up when they have that sale again on their website because that's a really good price versus $18. But again, this stuff is life. You need to try it. Another product that's not as expensive that is life to me as well is the e.l.f. And this is the clear brow gel. And I use this for my brows. It's meant for one side is meant for your eyelashes and one side's meant for your brows. But I use both of them for my brows. And it's just got the little applicator there. And I don't need any color for my brows because I'm naturally dark complected as far as my hair and my brows and they're really full and thick so I just use this and it keeps them in place because I got some wild eyebrows on my, my don't mind telling you so I need this stuff it's three dollars at the drugstore and at Walmart guys life and way better than the Ulta one that's like seven bucks no comparison all right so I went through a blush and this is my all-time favorite blush repurchase I'm going to show you what the actual blush looks like because I have repurchased it already and this is the Urban Decay Score After Glow 8 Hour Powder Brush. I love this stuff, it's my jam. And yes, it's pricey, it's like 30 bucks, which I don't think that's too bad for a high-end blush, especially something that I use every day. And as you can see, I use that bad boy up. There is nothing left in there, I used it all up. So on the back, it is called Score, that's the name of it. I cannot find this in store at Ulta. I cannot find this in store at Sephora. I have to purchase this online on Sephora's website. They have it. They don't even have it on Ulta's website. So this particular shade, I can never get it for like those cheap deals y'all tell me about all the time because in store and online, they don't have my shade. They don't have this one. They have the other ones. So let me show you what it looks like. So this is the one that I've already repurchased and this is the blush itself. So it doesn't look, y'all see the back? It, the back looks kind of orangey. It doesn't look like that. It's a really nice pinky shade. It just has a really nice, gl not glittery, but like glow effect to it. That's why it's the afterglow. And I do have the highlighter to match with it. And I just love this stuff. It's my all-time favorite. All right, so I've got a moisturizer and this is a moisturizing eye balm by Belief. Belief can get really, really pricey, guys, but I got this in a beauty box, I want to say, and I really, really enjoyed this moisturizing eye cream. I mean, it did wonders for my under eyes. It's very, very moisturizing, very cooling. It was just really enjoyable, and I don't know how much it is, honestly, but I know it's kind of expensive, but I highly recommend the Moisturizing Eye Bomb by Belief. All right, so I got some facial cleansers. Now, this is the Aveeno Positively Radiant Brightening Cleanser. I got this couponing for like 32 cents at Walmart and this stuff took, it took forever to go through, like months. I don't know why, but this stuff took forever. It does not foam up. It's very natural. Um, so if you have sensitive skin, I recommend it. But I like a good lather, even though I know I'm not supposed to use it because I have some issues with some dry skin patches over here. So it did okay for my skin. It didn't clear up my dry patches. I will say that. But if you have um, sensitive skin, I think this is good for you. But it wasn't my favorite. This was a sample I got in some type of order that I made. And this is the It Cosmetics. And this is the Confidence in a Cleanser Skin Transforming Hydrating Cleansing Serum Anti-Aging. And I really did enjoy this. Um, it was just a little bitty sample and I used it for a couple of nights. I actually really liked it. I'm sure this is mega pricey. So compared to some of the drugstore ones I use, it's probably you know not worth it, but I really did enjoy it. Then these two go hands in hand, hand in hand. This is the Simple Micellar Water. Y'all know I talk about this stuff every single month for an empties. I do like the blue one better. The blue one is like the um, sensitive or the extra hydrating one or whatever it is. The blue one's way better than the green, but I have a bunch of these I need to go through. And I do like the simple for taking off my eye makeup. And I use these Assured 100% Pure Cotton Rounds to do that with. These things are great, way better than Walmart and Target brand Dollar Tree for a buck. Okay guys, so I got some cleaning products now. So I have the Method Foaming Bathroom Cleaner in Eucalyptus Mint. I've talked about this before many times on my channel. And I stopped purchasing this one, even though I do like the formulation. I purchased another one from Method. I'm gonna try, I haven't tried it yet, but I don't like the nozzle on this guy. So y'all see the nozzle there? When you spray it, it sprays a stream this way and a stream this way. It's not a full fan on stream. We've talked about that before and so many of y'all were like, oh my God, Nicole, I thought I was going crazy. Thank you so much for saying that. I thought I had a defective bottle. 
No, you don't. It's every single one of these that I tried. It comes out like this and it doesn't come in a full fan, which I absolutely hate. However, I love the smell of this. I love the way this cleans, but because of that, and I could just dump this in another bottle, but I mean, you're paying for the packaging a lot as well. So disappointed with the way that that works. I wish that they would fix that. I'm hoping the other one I purchased is a little bit better. So I'm going through a lot of my couponing, cleaning stuff and converting to all like Method, Mrs. Myers, more natural products. And this is the Clorox cleaning clinging bleach gel. I hate this stuff because it works great. Don't get me wrong. This product works great, but Clorox, anything with bleach, all these bleach cleaners, like I'm having to throw some of them out. I can't even get through them all because they're making me so sick. Like they're making me have headaches from breathing in these toxic chemicals. And I definitely don't want my kids breathing that in. So that's why I'm so glad that I'm switching over to some natural products from Grove. But this one, guys, I actually splashed some of this while I was playing in the toilet on my shirt like not the toilet water but some of this got on my shirt some of my favorite pants my favorite shirt and it bleached them and it messed them up i was so mad so i'm so glad to get rid of this stuff and go with all, all that natural smelly good more better for the environment stuff speaking of better for the environment this is a mrs myers clean day basil scent automatic dish tabs this is the 20 load now i mentioned in a previous video that this and the seventh generation liquid that i'm using i hated but guys it was my fault i was using a weird setting on my dishwasher and it was making these not work that great so i changed the setting on my dishwasher and now this stuff is working the bomb like it's not making my dishes all wet like they were after the end it's cleaning them you can definitely tell there's no food residue and stuff i don't know what i was doing wrong but i got it fixed and I actually like them now that I have that all straightened out. However, I think I would try a different scent, even though I like the basil scent. And these are like, I want to say they're like $5 and some change for $20. But y'all know my all-time favorite, if I had to pick my favorite dish tab, would be the ones from the Dollar Tree. However, I don't think they are like super good for the environment. So that's why I'm trying to steer away from them. But they are amazing. Something else that is amazing is the Magic Erasers by Mr. Clean. You get two in here. I had these forever. I've been buying the ones from Dollar Tree. However, I haven't been able to find them as of late. But these things get off everything, like stuff on the walls that you didn't even know was there until you start looking close and you're like, oh man, I shouldn't have done this. But this Magic Eraser gets it off and it makes you feel better in the end. This stuff is miracle. Got the Lysol Click Gel and you get four disposable ones in here. They're like $2.37 at Target. These are a strong scent. I like my scrubbing bubbles ones in the cling toilet better than these. However, um, these are a little bit cheaper, but I don't like the smell. They're kind of harsh. Let's talk scent boosters. OMG, like what is going on here? I liked these. These are the Downy Fresh Protect Odor Defense, guys. I was surprised. These were really lingering on my clothes. I really, really enjoyed these. And I've been getting all these like scent booster beads from Dollar General on a great, great promo every single week. So that's why I've been able to use these versus the Purex crystals. But I really like this scent, so I would repurchase that one again. Another one that I would repurchase is the Gain Fireworks. I like the Gain Fireworks the best, probably. And this is the Tropical Sunrise. However, I like the Gain Original scent the best, but this one was not bad, but I like the Gain Original. Then I've got a Downy Infusions Botanical Mist Scent Booster. I also like this one. Um, any of the Downy ones and the Gain ones, I've really been a big fan of as of late. And they do dissolve. Some of y'all ask me, they don't dissolve and they leave like funky stuff in your washing machine. And I guess it just depends on your wash machine, but they work fine in mine. And then last but not least is the Purex Crystals Fresh Spring Waters. Y'all know y'all always see these. I have a ton to go through in my stockpile. But now these used to be my all-time favorite jam, but now using these other ones, I've gotten spoiled. All right, also I've got detergent for days because remember this is for two months now, not just for a month. And this is the Persil detergent. These are the pods and this is the liquid. This liquid and the Intense Fresh, the purple packaging is amazing, guys. If you've never tried Persil, definitely pick it up in the purple. You won't be disappointed. And then we've got the little pods here. I'm not a big fan of their pods. I'm gonna be honest with y'all. I think I like the liquid better and I like it in this purple versus these pods. And y'all know I'm all about a pod, so that says something there. Then I also have some Tide, and I've got the Tide for Breeze and the Spring and Renewal, and then I have the Tide for Breeze and the Botanical Rain. I had high hopes for this one because it smelled bomb, but I didn't leave any scent on my clothes. I think I like this purple one better, and Tide's not my favorite. Y'all know Gain is, but I'm just trying to get through a lot of this stuff in my stockpile. And then I've got a Arm & Hammer Sensitive, this has been in my laundry room for probably a year. I was using this on Waylon, but now I've converted him over to the smelly good kind because he's old enough now. But this stuff works great if you have little ones and you just add um, some of those like sensitive 
dryer sheets and stuff like that with it for the little baby. So that one's not bad. And then an all-time favorite is my Snuggle. And this is the Blue Sparkle. I love these things. I'm going through the pink one right now, and it's really good. But I think that's the last I have of the Snuggle. Last but not least, I've got some wipes. And I've got the Kleenex wet wipes. And then I've got some 7th generation free and clear wipes. I've been getting these from Grove. I love the texture on these. They're really thick, and they get off anything off of a booty that you want to get off. And these Kleenex wet wipes aren't the best for changing um, diapers per se, but I've been using them for that and for cleaning their hands in the car. And I love the little travel pack to keep in the car or in your purse. And these are super cheap with couponing. All right, so I've got some face masks, guys. And I really want to stress these because these were amazing. However, they are mega pricey. So these got sent to me from a company and these are the Masker Aid. Masker Aid. You can't see it on the top there, but on the back, it does say Masker Aid right there if you're interested in looking it up. But I looked it up and these are mega pricey. But these are the best face masks I've ever used. And y'all know I've used a lot. Now this is the Beauty Restore, the purple, and this is the All Nighter. This All Nighter I think was my favorite. And I looked them up, like I said, to purchase some. And I had Sticker Shock because they were really pricey for face masks. But I really enjoy these. So if you can find these on a good deal somewhere on eBay, definitely snag them up because they were the most moisturizing face masks I've ever used in my life. Then I've got some Garnier Skin Active ones. I've got two of the blue ones here. These are the Super Hydrating Masks. I really love these. I've gotten these from Couponing. That's why I'm going through them. And then the Glow Boosting one is the pink one. It's good as well. They're really good. And even if you don't have a coupon, I think they're like $2.99 or like three something at CVS and probably cheaper at Walmart. And then I've got a Donkey Milk Sleeping Mask by So AE. You can get this at Walmart and at Target. I actually like this. My girl Kiara from Fifty Shades of Mom, she's not a fan of this, but I didn't mind it. And I actually like the overnight sleeping ones that you just put on like a moisturizer and you let it sit on your skin and the next morning you clean your face. I actually like that, so that wasn't bad. And then the boys went through an Avengers Color Twist Bath Bomb from Big Lots. Just wanted to throw that in here. And then last but not least for face mask, guys, I wanted to mention this. I got this for a company called Face Tori. I think that's how you pronounce it. And they've sent me a lot of face masks. And I actually just signed up to start getting face masks with them and stuff because I use them so much. And I really like what they've been sending. And I looked up their company and they look really legit. So I'm gonna leave a link down below for Face Tori if you want to use them. I think you get like 10% off or 25% off something silly when you use that um, code down below that I'm gonna leave. They gave me like a link to use for anybody that wants to use it to get off something for their first time ordering. But it's like a monthly subscription box for face masks and you can either get like three or you can get up to like seven or 10 or you can just order when you want. So like you can get that percentage off I think from just ordering. So definitely check it out if you're interested in them. But they are a really awesome company. And they sent me a bunch of face masks, and this one's from them. It's the Daily Fresh Garden Mask Sheet Bamboo Water. They have a lot of Korean beauty um, stuff that they send me, which I really like in a face mask as well. And this one worked really good. I used this after I got sunburned, and it was really cooling, refreshing, and it definitely hydrated my skin that it was needing it from being sunburned. So I will probably be doing a video just on those face masks pretty soon because I'm really digging the company. Face story, check it out down below. All right, y'all, so that was my empties this month. Thank you so much for staying to all the way to the end. I know these can get really long, lengthy, but I'd like to give you my true, honest opinion about these products so you can either go and purchase them, some things you ask me about all the time, or some things I don't want you wasting your money on. So I wanna make sure that these are true, honest reviews for you to be able to watch soak in and make sure you're making wise choices when you're out and shopping for yourself. Give this video a thumbs up if you look forward to these empties videos and make sure to hit that subscribe button if you're not with me already because I do empties here on my channel. I try to do them once a month, but it's been like every other month here lately, but nonetheless, you say, I save it all and you see it all. So whether we get it per month or every other month, you see everything that we go through. Love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching. Your love and support means the world to me. I really, really appreciate it. And y'all have a great day, great night, great week, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.